At some point in plush making, you will inevitably have to sew together pieces that have either an outward facing point or an inward facing point. You'll commonly see these corners when sewing fingers and toes, feathers, pointed ears, cheek fluff, and more. If you're new to plush making or even sewing, you might be unfamiliar with some of the ways that you can make these points come out cleaner. Take a look at this pattern for some leaves on the plush that I'm making. It's two connected triangular shapes, so it has points at the tips and where they meet in the middle. If I just sew along this line with no modifications and turn it right side out, you can see how messy it is. The triangles don't stick out fully and they kind of collapse on each other in the middle here and the overall shape of my pattern has not been realized. So how do we fix this? First is that it helps to draw the line that you want to sew on the wrong side or the ugly side of your fabric. It will help to make sure that you're sewing the points evenly. I don't always draw my sewing line on since I usually trace my seam allowance when cutting out pattern pieces, but with points it helps to draw where I want to sew. I typically use a water or air soluble fabric marker, but if you're using dark fabrics you can use a silver sharpie. For very narrow corners like these triangles, it helps to take one or two extra stitches at the points to help define the shape. This is counterintuitive since you're trying to sew a triangle and you might think that it makes it less pointy, but with how bulky the plush fabric tends to be, it actually helps the shape come out more. Since my pieces are kind of small, I just sewed one extra stitch at each point, so instead of sewing to the end of the triangle and immediately pivoting the fabric and sewing down the triangle, I just stopped at the point sewed one stitch horizontally, and then sewed back down. I did the same where the two triangles meet. Now we need to clip seam allowance to help reduce bulk and to further help define the points. Snip the fabric at the inward facing corner. Make a cut right into the seam allowance to the point. This will help prevent the bunching issue we saw earlier. You want to get as close to your stitching line as possible, but do not cut into it. For the outward points, we are going to trim the seam allowance both horizontally at the tip and along the edges. Now we are going to turn it right side out. Use a point turning tool to help push out the shape. It doesn't have to be this actual tool I have here. It can be a pen with a cap on, the end of a spatula, anything blunt and narrow that can help you push out the shape. And now this object is nice and smooth. The triangles are clean and well defined. So I hope these tips will help you become a better plush maker and please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more plush making content. Thanks for watching.